So while we were all busy holiday shopping, do you know that the state was trying to take away our personalized plates? Yeah, that's a thing that's been going on. The state of South Dakota will no longer be putting the brakes on personalized license plate applications because they might carry connotations offensive to good taste and decency. The agreement comes after a lawsuit filed by the ACLU of South Dakota along with Manuel J. DeCastro Jr. of DeCastro Law Office, PLLC of Sioux Falls on behalf of Lyndon Hart. Hart's free speech was stifled when his application for Resweed plate was initially denied as being allegedly in poor taste. Hart runs a business called Resweed Indeed that supports and promotes the legal selling and use of medical and recreational marijuana on Native American reservations. He intended for the requested Resweed plate to refer to his business mission of promoting tribal sovereignty. The lawsuit challenged the arbitrary standards used by the Motor Vehicle Division to approve or deny personalized license plates. Under the settlement, the carries connotation offensive to good taste and decency standard is deemed unconstitutional and will not be applied to Hart and other people applying for personalized license plates moving forward. It's dangerous to allow the government to decide which speech is allowed and which should be censored, especially when the law is already established around the topic by the Supreme Court and the Eighth Circuit Court of Appeals that Stephanie Amia, ACLU of South Dakota Legal Director. While it's tempting for some to classify this as an insignificant issue, this is about so much more than just a license plate. It's about our First Amendment rights, and we won't allow the state to chip away our constitutional rights like this one piece at a time. We're very happy we were able to obtain a complete victory for Mr. Hart and for the freedom of speech of all South Dakotans. This is my friend Lynn. He's been a longtime follower of mine. He's a former rodeo legend, and he's also half black, half Native American. American. Now I ask you, in a state where we have literal metal balls hanging from white men's Chevy Silverados, obscene and offensive conservative bumper stickers for days, do you think this would have happened to him if he were any other ethnicity? I'm just saying, Brenda King, whose picture I can't find, but I'm sure my followers will be happy to help, this seems racially motivated. That you would be offended by this, but not this. I don't know, it just seems seems a little weird to me, the priorities, you know? I drive a pink truck with a gay pride flag and it says misandry on the license plate. You want to sue me next? Anyways, this is Smokey's website, resweedindeed.com. Go show him some love. It was his birthday yesterday. And thank you for putting up the good fight for us.